Ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, dear colleagues, it is an honor to speak to you today on behalf of the International Organization for Migration, and I thank IFRC for taking the lead in organizing this much needed and important event to mark World Mental Health Day. Access to mental health care is a fundamental human right, and it is indeed and intrinsically a part of various international covenants, conventions, and commitments. From the Covenant on Social, Economic, and Cultural Rights to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Yet, in this very unequal world of ours, mental health care services remain limited worldwide, less available, if available at all, to marginalize and disadvantage populations. The COVID-19 pandemic has made both the need for mental health care services and the inequities in service provision even more evident. Many people on the move face stressors that can undermine their mental health. Sometimes they are related to why a person or a family migrates. For example, because of war, persecution, poverty, natural disasters, and other reasons. They may be caused by the conditions of travel itself, which can include unsafe journeys, exploitation, abuse, and lack of legal identity. Migrants are overall underrepresented among users of mental health care and psychosocial support services as they encounter cultural, economic, social, legal, and administrative barriers. The role of IOM, along with other agencies as advocates of the rights of migrants, is to support member states in providing mental health services that include migrant and displaced populations and to remove to the extent possible the barriers. I'm here today to represent IOM efforts in providing community-based mental health and psychosocial support for the past 20 years in more than 80 countries worldwide and in a variety of settings and migratory contexts. Our mental health and cycle support teams are present in humanitarian settings, from Cox's Bazar in Bangladesh to northeastern Nigeria, from South Sudan to Afghanistan and Venezuela in transit and arrival situations, from Greece to Libya, from Niger to Central America in return settings, from West Africa to South America, so that we can ensure that migrant displaced and mobile populations have access to the services they need. We are very dedicated to continuing this work in collaboration with our partners and to advocate for migration management processes that support the psychosocial well-being of migrants, for humanitarian and migration services that are psychosocially aware and informed, and for mental health and psychosocial support services that are community-based and do not exclude migrants. We look forward to our continued partnership. Thank you for your attention.